there everyone welcome to echo clip so finally i was able to finish this uh, tier list took me probably probably two or three hours just to assemble everything from the pictures to the tier list so without uh, further ado let's start off with tier d so i'm not going to be talking about the whole tier list there are a lot so i'm going to be talking only about the srs not the ssrs anymore um, I did a tier list, a previous tier list on SSRs only, so you may, uh, you may check that. But for this one, I tried to include everything already um, so that you may reference the SRs and the SSR. So first SR is going to be Hemeto. So Hemeto, um, again for tier D, I'm not saying that they're useless uh, cases. Uh, most of them have um, have been outshined by those on the upper tiers. That is why they are here. So starting off with the meto, so not too much uh, physical damage in the back row and causing all targets to have a negative healing effect. And also for you know for the other skills, not so much as well. So very very limited skills that is why she is here so next up would be panther panther is for a while okay so panther has um deals one 57 damage front row with a chance to do additional damage for the highest hp but i think that's about it so and deals additional bonus uh, uh her normal attacks deals additional bonus uh damage to the target so um not again nothing special with her kit so moving on to parvati parvati here has also the same problem they're they're more one dimensional um cases so she deals she does big damage so 309 physical damage to a single enemy um, a low percentage to stun and that's about it and the others is increased attack for each normal attack for three rounds stacks up to four times so again they are very one-sided cases and uh, moving on to babs if for, for babs she she actually is i think the only other unit or the only other case with taunt aside from yulia so she has um single attack target then inflicting taunt so that's it so she also has damage reduction um that's it so again she's not really you know she's not really spectacular when it comes to her skills and we move on to Yan Ling. Yan Ling is so damage to the back row, inflicts burn for two targets. And that's it. Nothing spectacular. Increase attack for 15% when you know her HP decreases. So that's it. No, nothing again, nothing's production. So last on tier D is catch. So catch here. She, I think, she is the only one I think that I'm looking at putting up to tier C. So catch is um, attacking single row, inflicting, trying to inflict armor break in each of the two, you know, targets for two rounds. Then, um, no, I don't think she's worth it. That's it, and she just increases her dodge if her HP falls below thirty percent. So again. Um, these um, these uh, six here, Cash, Yanling, Babs, Parvati, Panther, and Emeto, they have very one-dimensional kits, so that is why they are situated at Tier D. So let's take a look at Tier C, guys. So Tier C has a bit of, um, how, what do you call this, has, has a lot. Um, so we'll start off with Aurora, Rinkin, and Iori. So these three are your substitute healers. Um, if you don't have Eriri, if you don't have uh, Dina, definitely Aurora, Rinkin would be your healers. They, they're they not as good as Eriri, three of them, Aurora, Rinkin, and Iori. 
some of them have shields um but it's not but it's not but not as efficient as iriri so we will start off with gura so as for gura let me just uh, find her a bit gura here uh, sh she actually is i think belong to your starter unit she is available early so she deals physical damage to a single row chance to have target armor and resistance uh, low and when she retreats increase rage by two for allies with the highest attack kind of a nice uh, utility when she retreats um that is why she's a tier c the next one um is actually one of the cases that i have been wanting to use but I have better cases at this point, so it's going to be Nanok. Nanok here, so deals damage, then granting shield of 50% max if to the front row allies. So she's kind of a support, so she she gives AOE shield. Um, probably you could count her as one of your healers or support, but again, her classification is AOE shield, and uh, she has uh, damage reduction Plus 15% for two rounds to start of the battle. So she's sturdy. She's all around. She's nice to use at the start. And we're moving next to Cell here. So Cell. Um, Cell, I think, has burn, if I'm not mistaken. So Cell has burn, similar to Yan Ling. Okay. Uh, front row enemies uh, burn for two rounds but she has a bit of a passive that is good so she gains sword domain at the start of the battle so sword domain is transfer 15 percent damage to all enemies when performing any attack so again there's a there's a, an addition to what her ultimate gives so that's why she's at tier c okay moving on to kurain in here so she's here um attaches energy blade attacking and dealing 227 damage to a single row so very good damage an additional 60 percent physical damage to a target with the lowest hp and her def her passive is uh she gives sin seal the bear suffers additional e damage equal to five percent of the damage taken by an ally at the beginning of the battle so again another nice passive to have and the last one in our tier c would be sen so sen here the last one so she deals 309 physical damage to a single back row enemy she she her purpose is actually an assassin as well so targets hp if the target's hp is below 50 deals additional 60 percent physical damage and her passive is when an enemy, enemy retreats her attack increases by six for two rounds stacking up to three times so she's um a good assassin to have probably your substitute for mori but um we'll go to our tier b already so we only have four for tier b so mori is definitely um i think the best assassin second would be zen uh iriri uh i've told you she's your second best healer aside from dina so if you don't have dina definitely iriri will be your best healer so she heals front row allies which is important for 157 attack and grants the lowest HP target armor and resistance plus 15. then for every ally retreating healing effect is plus 10 so additional healing for the rest and can stack up to three times so again she's our second best healer um again you level her up if you don't have dina at this point and you won't be disappointed so number no second one for tier b of our srs is going to be senko i've used senko for quite a bit so deals great damage with 227 physical damage in a single row and a chance and chance to restore hp of 100 percent of attack so she kind of has have a she kind of has a lifesteal but it's very low it's 20 percent but her passive is builds up an advantage in battle techniques when she deals 
crit attack, her damage is plus five, stacking, stacking up to four times for three rounds. So again, a big damage for Senko. That is why she is at tier B. Next up in tier B is going to be Yarina. I wasn't able to use Yarina before, but if you take a look at her ultimate, so damage, uh, big damage in the front row and additional armor and resistance minus 10 damage to target with the highest HP, lasting two rounds. And as her passive performs a, a dance of death, casts a skill and have tears rate up for two rounds. She is um, dubbed as an AOE debuffer but she has good damage as well. So both roles she can fill. And the last one in our tier B would be Sova. So Sova, you will have the opportunity to use her from in the start. So shoots arrows dealing 216 damage physical to single row and 50% chance to recover rage for herself. So she could do her ultimate again. And her damage bonus is increased by 5% for every 10% reduction of her HP. So as her HP goes down, her damage goes up. So stacking up to three times and lasting for the whole battle. So that is nice to have for her. And that is our tier B. The last is going to be our tier A for SS for SR. Sorry. So for SR, we have our last um sr but she is belonging in tier a she's the best dps if you don't have any dps to use but if you have nezana definitely use her so 156 damage to the front row and additional 70 percent damage um with the one with highest hp uh, when an ally is controlled silence stun freeze and gain damage Plus 20% for one round, up to one time per round. So, again, she's one of the best DPS. If you have somebody who can put out controlled effects like Silent Stun and Freeze, she deals additional damage. I've used her. Um, again, you won't be disappointed when you're using her. So, that is it for your SR. So, they're only up to tier A. Um, for tier S and for tier SS, there has a there's only one change. Pan Pan was raised to tier SS, and Audrey is still at tier S. I'm still I'm still testing Audrey out whether she should be. Some say that Audrey should be in tier SS, but at this point, let's put her at S while I still test further for Audrey. So. That is it, guys. Sorry I could not go over the SSRs. I did this tier list um, previously, I think last week, um, for the SSRs. Please do take a look at that if you haven't seen my, you know, my review of each of the characters here. If I do all of them, I think we'd go around 20 minutes or more, or roughly 30 minutes. So. Um, probably in the next tier list, I'll do another review of, you know, of everybody, probably move somebody around and probably I'll, you know, have another round of feedback for all of the cases that we have. But so far, this is the complete one, SSRs and SRs. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Also, don't forget, I'll be putting a link in the description so that you could access this tier list anytime. So take care, stay safe. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.